one of the festivities of Pespaco is Celebrities Day, an evening of tributes to celebrities from the world of sport, theater, film, comedy, music, fashion, and dance. The evening was punctuated by music, sketches, speeches, and awards. As a film actor, I can only be happy to receive such an award. I'm pleasantly surprised to be honored in this country. I thank and congratulate the organizers of the Fest Paco and the whole city of Ouagadougou. I accept this prize in the name of friendship between Senegal and Burkina Faso and in the name of Africa youth and Pan-Africanism. I thank Burkina Faso for this beautiful recognition of me. It goes straight to my heart and I love this country very much. The particularity of this third edition of Celebrities Day is that we have decided to reward the artists who put up Burkina Faso in the spotlight, especially sportsmen. We have decided to open up to dancers, musicians, poets and all artists in general. On the movie side, some 239 films from 50 countries were screened each day in a dozen cinemas in the capital, Ouagadougou, before a delighted audience. It is an honor for me to be at this festival to offer my critical perspective on society. The festival started very well, and since then, wonderful films have been shown. I think there's some good work that has been done in the selection of films, and right now we are vibrating to the rhythm of some really good films. The opening ceremony of the first Paco began with a series of shows, including a tribute to the Burkina National Armed Forces. The tribute seemed like a hymn to the resistance against terrorism and COVID-19. The holding of the FESPACO is a hope and an act to prove to those who want to give the impression that life must stop with terrorists, that we are sure of one thing, that we will defeat terrorism, because I usually say that there is no possible future for terrorism. In total, 17 films were in the running at Africa's premier film festival, but at the end of the competitions, Somali filmmaker Kada Ahmed won the top prize for The Grave Digger's Wife, which he wrote and directed. The award ceremony was attended by President Rock Mark Christian Kabure from Burkina Faso and President Macky Sall from Senegal, guest of honor of this biennial 17th edition of FESPACO. Desiree Cano. See you again.